Hi guys, it's Miss Stacy. So this week we're learning about feelings. And all of us, every single day, have lots of different things that we feel. Usually we all like being happy, right? We want to be happy, but none of us are happy all the time. We feel lots of different things. So sometimes maybe we feel sad. Sometimes maybe we feel angry. And when we're feeling sad or angry, then we wanna to try to figure out some things that can help us to feel calm or happy again. So one of the things that helps me to feel calm when I'm feeling kinda of angry is to squeeze something. So I had a stress ball, but it just rolled away. So hold on. All right, so this is my stress ball. And when I'm feeling kinda of angry or like, I just can't kind of stay calm and in control and I can squeeze it and it helps me to feel nice and calm again. So maybe you have a stress ball at home or something else like that that you like to squeeze. But if you don't, today we're gonna to learn how to make a stress ball, make all different kinds so you can find one that feels good for you and maybe helps you to feel nice and calm again. All right? So to make our stress balls, we're gonna try a few different things in the middle of them. And because we like to play with different things, we're gonna do that first. So one thing you can put in the middle of your stress ball is flour. Or if you didn't have flour, you could use cornstarch, you could use sugar, you could use sand, you could use even Play-Doh, but just something that feels nice and soft. So you can always take some flour and play with it first. And it feels so soft in your hands. You can make holes in it. Right, it's really fun to play. And you could put some on the tray, like we've done before. You could spread it out and make some lines and some letters in it if you wanted to. So that's one thing we can put in a stress ball. Something else we could put in our stress ball is rice. So the rice would feel a little different than the flour. It still feels kind of soft, but there you can feel the pieces. So it'll feel a little bit more rough when you're squeezing it and you'll feel all the pieces moving together. And the third thing that we're gonna try putting in our stress ball is some beans. So I have black beans, but you can use anything that you have in your house. So these black beans, can you see them? They feel nice and smooth when I touch them, but when I squeeze them together, because the pieces are bigger, they don't go right together and squish nice and smooth like the flour does. You can feel all the different beans still. So we're gonna try making a stress ball with each one. And you can see which one you like how it feels and which one makes you feel calmer, okay? So we're gonna make our first few stress balls using balloons. At school we can't use balloons because they have latex in them and some people might be allergic, but if you're not allergic to them, then you can use balloons at home and afterwards I'm gonna show you some different ways you can do it without balloons, okay? So how about first we make our balloon with flour because I think that's gonna be the messiest one, so I'll get it out of the way. And you can use whatever color balloon you want, but I was thinking I would do mine with the feeling. So maybe red and orange together would be for angry, maybe yellow and purple together would be for happy, and maybe the blue and green together would be for sad, okay? So we'll say that our flower, we'll start with our flower as the happy one, okay? So what you wanna do is you're gonna figure out one balloon that's gonna be on the inside and one that's on the outside that you'll see more. So we're gonna put our purple on the inside and we're gonna stretch it out. And you're gonna blow it up a little first to make it stretch, all right? So here we go. Look at that. All right, now we're gonna let our air out, ready? That's a funny noise, okay. So we're gonna take our balloon and stretch it out, and we're gonna put a funnel inside it, okay? So now our balloon is on the end of the funnel, and we're gonna take our flower, and we're gonna put our flower in, and sometimes the flower just sits there, it doesn't go down, so then you can take a straw, or anything like that, chopstick, or, Could be like a skewer, anything that you can use to push down there. All right, so it went in. See, our balloon's getting a little bigger. So we're gonna put in some more flour. Could use your hands to do it because it feels kind of fun, but it'd be a little bit more messy. 
So see our flower just stay there again. We're gonna keep pushing it until it keeps going into our balloon. All right, let's see, our balloon's getting bigger. And you can decide, you don't have to fill it up all the way, then it would be kind of more squishy, or you can try to put lots in there so it's a little bit harder. So I'm gonna keep pushing it down. And can you see? Now there's some flour in there. I think a little bit more, because I wanna have ours nice and firm. So we put in a little bit more flour and we're gonna keep pushing it. Keep pushing it down there with our straw. It's going into our balloon still. It's getting in there. You can see, see there's not too much space there. I think that we might need to try to move our balloon down the funnel a little bit because the funnel is sticking pretty far into the balloon. There we go. All right, so we're pushing down that flower. All right, let's see. So our funnel's empty and our balloon feels kind of hard. So you gotta be careful taking it off, otherwise you could end up with flour everywhere. It might still happen, I don't know, let's see. Did we get it really carefully? Yay, we didn't make a big flower mess. All right, so we're gonna roll up that top. And we're gonna tie it in a knot to keep all the flour in there. All right, so this is what it feels like right now. It feels really squishy and soft, but it's also a little bit easy to break and we don't wanna have flour everywhere. So, we're gonna cut the end of it off. And then we decided that yellow was gonna go with that one. So we're gonna take our yellow balloon and we're gonna cut this part off the yellow balloon. So maybe like your parents can help you with this because it's a little bit hard. And then we're gonna take our yellow balloon that we just cut the end off of, and we're gonna open it up. And we're gonna take the part with the knot and stick it in there. There, all right, so you can still see that purple a little bit, but you mostly see yellow. So here's our first stress ball. It feels nice and soft, and we're gonna make, we decided that this one was gonna represent happy, okay? So we're gonna take our yellow stress ball and I'm gonna make a nice, happy face on it. The purple's kind of sticking up because I didn't get all the arrows, so he looks like he has a hat. But he's pretty cute, he looks like an egg. All right, so this is our happy stress ball with the flower, okay? So let's see what we can do next. So maybe next we'll do sad. All right, so here's our green balloon that we're gonna put on the inside. We're gonna blow it up. the air out, a kind of funny noise. All right, so we're gonna stretch it a little bit. And we're gonna put it just on the end of our funnel. All right, so now we have our rice. Remember we played with our rice? Felt kind of cool. So we're gonna use our spoon and we're gonna put some rice into our funnel. Well, this one's kind of going down a little better. So we can shake it while we're putting it in. It's easier than the flour, it's not getting stuck. See, it's not staying in there, watch. Put it in and shake it. We can already feel it in our balloon. So we're gonna put in some more, put in some more. Oh, it's not going down anymore. Come on, rice, get in there, stretch it out. All right, we'll use our straw a little bit and see if we can get some more rice in there. We want it to be nice and big. Push it down, there we go. Okay, come on, rice. Uh-oh, oh man. All right, we might have to dump out a little bit because it doesn't all want to go in. All right, so we got that rice in there and now we're gonna carefully take our funnel off. Uh-oh, that's why we have the tray. It made a little bit of a mess because there was still too much rice in the funnel. It didn't go in, but that's okay. All right, so now we're gonna tie a knot. Get all our rice in there. Some of my balloons are a little bit old. I'm gonna break it, there we go, okay. So we're gonna cut the end off that, and we decided that blue was gonna go on the outside of our sad balloon, right? So we're gonna cut the end off the blue, and we're gonna stretch it out. Here we go, it's coming. We got this. 
Oh, okay. And we're gonna take the knot side first and put it in there. And the blue is all around it. You see, you can even hear how it sounds different. You hear that? That's the rice moving against each other. The flower didn't make any noise. This one makes noise and they look a little different. This one is smooth and this one you can see the pieces of rice. So we decided that blue was gonna be for sad. So we're gonna make a sad face on our blue stress ball. Oh, poor blue stress ball. He's feeling sad. And this guy's feeling happy. All right, so we're gonna make one more. We're gonna use our beans and it's gonna be for angry. So on the inside, we'll put orange. Ready? Here it comes. Oh, that one made a good noise. All right, ready? We're gonna put the end of our funnel in there. If you don't have a funnel, you can cut a water bottle too and use the end of the water bottle. All right, so here's our beans. We we'll put our beans in there. Hmm. The beans are like the rice. They went in there, but they don't want to pack down. They're not getting too tight. Come on, beans. Go in there. See, they're still stuck in there because they're going down the balloon, but then, there we go. One guy was stuck. They're going in, the balloon's getting bigger. Come on, beans. Using old balloons is bad sometimes. This balloon just broke, but the part that broke is okay because we can still tie it in a knot. Maybe. We'll get a little knot here. So if you're going to use balloons at home, you should probably use newer balloons than mine. Did we get it? I think so. All right, so even though the end of it broke off, did you see what happened? The end broke off, but we still tied it in a knot. So you see that? See how the beans are sticking out? Oh my goodness. So we're gonna take our red balloon and cut the end off. And we're gonna open it up and we're gonna put our orange balloon inside. I could cut a little bit more off the red balloon so we can still see our orange guy. Okay. So, you hear that one that makes this noise? And the rice made this noise. So they sound a little different. This one didn't make any noise. So our red balloon we decided was gonna be for angry. Okay, I'm not really good at making an angry face, but we'll do our best. Oh, his eyes are a little bit crooked. That's okay. We know our red balloon is for angry. Okay, so we have three different ones, but maybe you can't use balloons because maybe you're allergic to latex. So you can also use gloves. So I made this one with the kind of gloves that we use at school. I just did it the same way. I put it all, I put the funnel in the glove, I put all the flour in, and then I put another glove over it. And I tied the first glove, but then the second glove I put a little twist tie around because it was harder. But on this little guy, I put some different feelings on each finger. So he might be happy or sad or kind of mixed up or angry or surprised. And this is kind of fun because you can feel this or you can feel all the different fingers. It gives you something different to squeeze on. So that's kind of fun. So there's all different ways that you can do it, right? You can use something that's soft, like flour. You can use something like rice that has a little bit bigger pieces. You could use something like beans and they all come out different ways. So remember this was our happy face and we made him with flour. This was our sad face and you made him with rice. 
and this was our angry face, and we made him with beans. But you can make your own kinds of things, and you can figure out how they make you feel. So maybe you have all these sitting down, and you walk by there, and you're feeling really angry, and you grab the angry one, and you squeeze it for a little bit while you're so angry, and then after you're squeezing it, you feel that it makes you feel calm. You realize you feel calmer after. Or maybe you just like how this guy feels, and when you squeeze it, it makes you feel happy. Right? You squeeze this guy and you feel happy. Or maybe you're feeling kind of sad. And you just want something to do with your hands and you squeeze this for a while. And then after you're squeezing it, maybe you realize it makes you feel more calm. All right? So you can experiment with all different ways to do it, whether you do it with a glove or you do it with balloons, whatever you have at home and whatever you want to try it with. All right, but I hope you have fun trying and I hope it helps you feel nice and calm. All right, I'll see you soon, bye.